dear white liberals, you got exactly what you asked for. Now, I don't know if you guys have been watching the news, but there is a far left group that came out of Dallas. I believe it's called Dallas Justice Now. And now in the unending, never ending push for quote unquote equity, this group is demanding that white parents not send their kids to Ivy League schools to somehow uh, make space for black and Latino students. This is their idea of equity. And when I see stuff like this, I laugh because it's completely ridiculous, but I also laugh at the white liberals because this, white liberals, is exactly what you have brought upon yourself. When you grovel, when you talk about how racist you are, when you engage in the critical race theory stuff, when you basically are filled with so much guilt just for being white that you open the door to people on the far left to say things like this, you are getting exactly what you've asked for. And this is what I can't stand about white liberals. This is what I can't stand about the self-flagellation that comes with it, is that it always comes across as very condescending to black people. It comes across as very condescending to black Americans. But look, this is exactly what the far left wants. The far left people, whether it be the far left black people or the self-flagellating white people or the white people that just talk about their white guilt and just cannot seem to get over that, this is what they wanted. So they want to have the opportunity to tell you as a white liberal that if you do not um, you know, get in the way of your kids educational experiences, if you don't, if you don't stop your kids from going to Ivy League schools, then you are somehow oppressing a black person. You are somehow making it um, less able for a black or a Latino person to go to an Ivy League school. And about that argument, this is an argument that is based on absolute elitism. I am the graduate of an Ivy League school. I graduated from Columbia University. And the idea that going to an Ivy League school is going to make the lives of black or Latino children any better, the, the idea is that all of a sudden they're going to graduate from these Ivy League schools and just walk to a, you know, on a gold-plated road to riches and, and fame, this stuff is not necessarily true. There are so many kids from lower middle class backgrounds, they go to Ivy League schools, they found themselves not able to keep up with the work, they cannot keep up with their, uh, their fellow students who have been privately educated their entire life. But then again, I'm going to step back and laugh at white liberals because when you see arguments like this and when you see people guilting like this, you have gotten exactly what you have asked for. You have gotten exactly what you have rolled out the red carpet for over the past couple of years. So I hope you are enjoying it because I'm enjoying watching.